happened youtube your girl is back it's k good welcome back to my channel i feel like it's been a really long time since i uploaded i've been filming a lot i just haven't been uploading these videos that i have filmed but anyways if you can't tell i'm in a new location i'm actually in a complete new location because this has moved she is now a new yorker um gotta throw the accent on there so yeah we're gonna talk about my life what's been going on while i beat my face so a little chit chat get ready with me i'm really not going anywhere today i don't have any plans um i'm definitely going to the grocery store i guess i might peruse brooklyn but yeah um so we're gonna get into you know this face let's real quick talk about this hair so this hair is well i have a wig on because i don't did y'all see me with my short hair I think but this wig is from Austria hair I never know if I'm saying it right so I'll just put it on the screen um but yeah it's from Austria hair it is a 26 inch frontal lace frontal wig so the frontal is 20 inches and then the rest of the hair is 26 inches it is quite long on me because I'm very short she is 5'2 so comes down quite a bit which is what I wanted. I originally was going to get 30 inches, so thank God I didn't do that. It would be touching my knees, but yeah. So this is the hair. It is their straight Brazilian hair, I believe. And I like it. It hasn't really started shedding on me until now. But it's probably because like, I'll be wearing it to sleep and you know doing the most with it. But I've had it for, I guess, maybe two or three weeks now. Yeah, maybe three weeks. And I really like it. It's nice. Um, it's the 180 density. They have a... 360 density i believe um but the 180 looks really natural and yeah i like this wig a lot today i have it on the side part i normally wear it the middle part but you know it's a frontal so it's a 13 by 4 frontal so i can pretty much probably have around one um but yeah enough of that let's get into the face because i do have a lot of products that i've been using like new products so we're going to talk about that and you know talk about my life so let's get to it some lip balm on ignore the ink stain on my lip it just does not want to go away i also have on some moisturizer already i got this new um moisturizer from sarah v it's their ultra light moisturizing lotion and it also has spf 30 and i've been enjoying it so far so i already put that on i'm also going to put on I'm going to spray this Olay Mist. It's the ultimate hydration essence energizing vitamin C and whatever that is that I can't pronounce there at the bottom. But I found out about this from good old Jackie Ina. And I love it. It's a really nice, like, fine mist. So it feels really nice on the face. We're going to start with my brows. I'm going to be using the new Fenty Beauty um, brow pencil. I have it in brow MVP, excuse me. I have it in the color deep black, which is, I think, the darkest color you can get. But yes, let's talk about where this has been, how this has been doing. Um, so I've been in New York for a week, so not long at all. Um, I moved, well, I flew here Tuesday the 8th. It's been kind of crazy. So I've been planning this move. Like I know I've talked about it on my YouTube before. But like planning it. The, like moving on October 8th. I've been planning that I think since May. I think I like came home for my birthday. And I was like okay. This isn't working. Like it's cool being back home. Because I don't have to necessarily pay bills. But this is not what I was trying to do. You know after I graduated. So Yeah, I started doing a little research just as far as like moving and what was a good time to move. Like I guess the down season as far as people getting apartments and whatnot. My baby hair is looking really crazy right now. But um, yeah, so I was doing some research and I saw that like October to March was a good time for people trying to get apartments because it's like the down season or whatever. And... I just decided to go with October because I feel like it was a good time for me to still get jobs. Like, I know I would still be working retail because that's just what I've been working forever and it's the easiest job for me to get. Um, so I know I'd still be working retail and I know that, you know, this is where people start hiring for 
like seasonal positions and just like jobs in general they start to hire around October for the holiday season and I got a plane ticket I think around the end of August and then after I got the plane ticket I got uh extended stay at an airbnb so i that's where i am right now i feel like that was a better move for me as opposed to like getting an apartment and like signing a lease when i'm thousands of miles away and like haven't actually been in said neighborhood and like um you know seen the apartment stepped in foot in the apartment you know i feel like the extended stay because i'll be here for two months i feel like that was just the better way to go so that i can like you know get a job and like be able to look around and not be like stuck somewhere and at least aware that I didn't like and I really like my Airbnb there's a washer and dryer here there's other people that stay here too but I like never run into them I never really have a problem with like getting to the shower or to the restroom just in general so that's really cool okay so I'm actually gonna be starting with my eye makeup first I went ahead and put some concealer on my eyelids I use I use my Too Faced concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, and I have it in the color Warm Sand, so I'll put that on my eyelids, and then I set it with my MAC, um, what is this, <laughs> my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, I have it in Medium Dark, and so that's what I put on my eyes to prime them. And I'm actually really excited for the palette I'm using today. I'm using the good old Jackie Ina palette. I actually got this from a coworker at my last job. She gave it to me on my last day of work, which is a perfect segue to talk about like jobs and working and all nine. Because you know, when people would hear that I'm moving, or if I was telling people that I'm moving to, they're like, "Oh my gosh, it's so expensive. How are you gonna do it?" Blah blah blah. And it's like, listen, just because you don't know how you would do it doesn't mean I cannot do it. Oh, so I quit my last job. I don't really like. To, like I'm, I don't want to mention where I worked previously or like where I'm working now um, but I did work in retail I worked at a major department store it was ass I hated it I mean it had its normal like retail issues what color do I want to use today I haven't used lituation I haven't used this color so maybe we'll tap into that um, we're kind of just gonna, you know, we're just gonna play with it. Cause I've already done, what, three or four? No, three looks for sure with this palette. I freaking love this palette. Jackie did her thing. I've actually never had Anastasia eyeshadow palette and it's true, they are very, very pigmented. They're for sure worth the money. It's crazy because I was going to get this palette the day before it was gifted to me. I was in Sephora and I looked at it and I was like, ooh, it's so cute, but I should like wait until like I get to New York and like, you know, making my gift to myself, you know, once I've been there for a minute, but I didn't have to do all that because people love me enough to buy it for you. Yeah, I never necessarily want to like put on blast the places that I work for, you know, if it's just to be trying to be professional, but retail is ass, major companies, corporations are ass. Um, I had been trying to transfer with this said company because um, they have several locations all over the country. I was trying to uh, transfer from my Houston location to a New York location because they have several New York locations as well um but it was just always like a dub like they would always give me the one around like it was it was so frustrating I would I would go through all the channels I possibly could like going through managers going through HR just calling myself and seeing what's going on um oh, right now I'm taking the color ginger which is this pretty like brown it's a nice transition color so i'm gonna use that but yeah i just always feel like i was getting the runaround and that nobody was really trying to help me transfer even though i know they transferred because i had two three people transfer to my department alone so not just the store my department i had three people transfer there in like the past maybe six months since i was trying to officially move in october um, and then finally my manager was like, oh, they don't do transfers anymore. I'm just like, so how are you going to lie and tell me to my face they don't transfer anymore when somebody just transferred a month ago? That's how soon they stopped doing transfers? Word? Okay, that's cute. Now, luckily, <laughs> um, of course I wasn't like putting all my eggs in one basket as far as like transferring with that stupid ass company because I had, um, been looking for other places 
I have been looking for a long time, but once I had like a place I knew I was staying and could put an address, um, it made getting callbacks and emails back so much, like so much easier. Um, y'all are gonna hear the train, y'all are gonna hear honking, like know that it's not gonna be quiet in the background of these videos no more. Um, y'all live like right next to the train, so I hear it all day long. But yeah, so it was, transferring was a dub, it did not happen, but I got other um, offers and I had a like face-to-face -face final interview with the company that I am currently working for because hey, I got the job. I really like the company that I'm working for now. I haven't officially started, but I think the company is really cool. I like the concept of what they're doing. It's still retail, but it's like fancier retail, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, again, I ain't really trying to put all that out there because y'all don't need to know my business like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need to know my employer. Oh yeah, so I'm going in with two other colors. So I'm going in with edges and credit edges and credit we love the names in this palette <laughs> now that the bag is like secured i feel more um secure basically like, getting the job made me way less like stressed out i did feel like i was stressed out at first as far as like you know jobs because i need money like obviously i'm in the new city i i've never been the type to like not be working anyway this is a money making pro forever working worked numerous jobs since i was 17 so the working thing is never like new to me i'm even still looking for a part-time job once i get like a little settled in the full-time job that i have now um you know once training is over and everything i'm gonna start looking for a part-time because checks she needs several oh this is a cute color um yeah the situation is cute it just feels so crazy that i'm really in new york like that first day like landing it's like wow so you, you don't have a way back home this is your home because you have no way of getting back like i said i just i'm basically on like a mini vacation until i start my new job so i'm just kind of exploring brooklyn because that's where i currently am and I, when I came to visit last time, y'all remember I vlogged that, um, I was in Harlem. And so I pretty much stayed in the city for the most part. Um, but now I'm in Brooklyn, which is like a whole other situation. Um, but it's real cool. I like it. I think the thing I like the most is just the convenience of it all. Like, I've never been walking distance from a grocery store or the beach supply or just anything in general. <laughs> um, that's not something you see in, in Houston, especially everything so far down there so it's cool to just get up and be like okay i'm gonna walk and get me some food i'm gonna walk and get me some groceries like but definitely new york is what i thought it would be i feel like i said it on my last vlog too when i was here like yes it's dirty and oh i saw a rat the other day bro now i saw a rat first on the i was in the subway i was waiting on the train i saw him like on the the tracks but then i was walking the other night i was getting some pizza i was walking back to my place and i see something like walking or crawling but i'm thinking it's a bird because these birds out here are also gigantic they look like them pigeons be like fat like super fat so i'm thinking it's a bird that's walking like because i'm on the sidewalk and there's like this this fence that has like grass behind it and i'm like okay maybe that's a bird but then i'm like no i see the tail so i'm like that is a rat that is a fat ass rat walking just chilling near me and i'm just like oh. it was so so gross like ugh. it was the nastiest thing i've ever seen because it's large ugh. Ugh. and i just i didn't know they would be that close to me fam mm -mm. jackie you did your thing okay so we're gonna go back to the eyes later i'm gonna get into the face right now i should have did this at first but i forgot um is to prime so I have the Milk Hydro Primer. I know y'all probably seen this on other people's channels too. I absolutely love it. I got the small size because I don't really wear a beat face all the time. So I don't need primer all the time. But every time I do a full, full beat, I got to use my primer. I love this stuff so much. It's so good. Um, it really just like grips. Oh yeah, Hydro Grip. Mm, that's what it's called. So it does exactly what it says, the name. Says it all. I feel really good about my moves. Like, 
first of all, I feel like it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't supposed to happen. So, you know, because anything could have gone wrong. But, you know, the universe came, came into play for me. And I feel like I've been talking about it so long. So everybody's so excited for me. And I mean, same. I'm very excited. Um, I was getting so much love from, like, friends and family. And just, you know, everybody's been calling me, checking on me. So it feels nice. Um, cause I am kind of by myself. Um, I know people who live here, but we're not like super close. So it's not the same as like one of my, you know, close friends would have came with me. I'm always harassing them, telling them to just move, <laughs> to just move with me, you know, cause I don't have a permanent place yet. So it's like, I need some roommates. Y'all can always come out. Okay. So we're going to be using my good old Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is the new one. This is the hydrating one wear foundation. I like it much better than the matte formula but I already have dry skin so this one just works better and I still have it in the same color which is 350 I actually feel like 350 is a tad bit light but it's cool because I'm a contour and all of that um I do love this though because I don't need a whole lot I do like one and a half pumps why are people loud right now it's still early so I thought it wouldn't be as loud but that means nothing there's actually like construction going on like on the same block as me so there's that but yeah i moved out of weird time so astrology wise like i said it was full moon a few days ago and that definitely affected my mood like one day i just woke up like yeah i don't know this is weird i felt super out of place um i just wanted to i guess be around something familiar and i definitely was not so it was weird i still was like trying to do stuff like i think i went out that day went to an event in Bushwick but it was just weird because I I guess because I'm forced to be like alone it's not that I don't like being you know by myself I am a little antisocial so like I don't mind doing things on my, on my own but when I have the choice you know what I'm saying like like I said I know people like I knew I know somebody that just moved here for medical school but she's in medical school so it's kicking it because it has I know like a friend of a friend I know several friends of a friend out here friend of friends out here um but you know how that goes it's just not the same as like having your peoples which only have like three peoples it was a lot of things going on I feel like before I moved just a lot of emotions a lot of I guess things just getting resolved necessarily and I guess it was for a good reason but I don't know and it is sorry trying to conceal I actually hate putting concealer on my forehead. I don't know why I just did that. Oh, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. It is in 340. It should be 350, but I got it the day it came out, and they did not have 350 at my Sephora back home, which made no sense. I feel like the girls in Sephora was taking the 350 for themselves, but that's neither here nor there. Because I've been using this, and I I don't dislike it. Um. I don't love it also though. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna do my contour. So this is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. I have it in truffle. And I like truffle, it's a really nice color. I really like the matchsticks. They're, they just blend out so great. So we're gonna contour the skin the door. Also, this like real hair wig life is totally different. You know, I'm a wig lover. I love me a good wig and I'm queen of synthetic wigs so let me tell it but real wigs like real lace wigs they're so much work that's why that's why I didn't put this all on my camera because it's just it's too much but yeah it's definitely been like an adjustment just as far as like moving here and kind of being like solo because it really is a risk and I feel like I'm finally realizing like yes this is crazy you have moved across the across the country by yourself leaving all things familiar all you know things comfortable my whole family is back home like it's just wild right um i don't know i never thought of it as being that something that was so crazy and so like out of there but you know risk gotta be taken and i feel good about the the chance that i took you know moving out here i feel like it'll be a good experience it would definitely i guess it, it definitely give me what i want just as far as like a challenge being back home in such familiar territory definitely didn't like challenge me to do anything <laughs> you know it was just 
so familiar. Like I know those streets. I've I've been especially since like I moved back home home with my mom who has been living in the same area since I was in like sixth grade. So it was definitely nothing new and I just feel like that's kind of what I needed. But then also like I want to be in the fashion industry so it just makes sense that I'm in New York. Um I think I tried talking about this in a video that I didn't upload but I so regret getting a degree in journalism instead of fashion related. I mean my minor was fashion merchandising and that was my major originally but I just wasn't happy I guess with the program. I, it wasn't what I expected it to be. It was so like buyer focused almost because I want to be a stylist and then I want to have my own clothing brand at one point right but to be a stylist you don't need to have a degree for most things in fashion you really don't need to have a degree it's not like I don't enjoy writing because I do but I just always wanted to do things in fashion and like yeah I could write for fashion mags or whatever but it just wouldn't be the same as actually working with clothes you know what I'm saying working with the product itself um and so now I'm trying to put my focus back into, you know, fashion and and just kind of getting back into what I wanted to do. Like I've been sketching and just trying to tap back into that creativity that I once had. Like back in the day as a kid, I used to I had a fat sketchbook with like hundred plus sketches, like as as a kid, and I feel like I really fell off of it and I think just because I wasn't sure if I was creative enough like I didn't know I didn't have the confidence that I could like really be a designer and which was so stupid I was truly sleeping on myself but you know people don't really think that being a designer or being in fashion or doing anything creative for that matter has a lot of stability and I feel like my generation is like so what about stability? I want to be doing what I want to do. I want to be happy in a career and not just in a job, you know? Because um, I have a lot of friends that are trying to do more creative things than what they originally set out for when they were getting their degree. And I love it because I feel like we don't want to stifle ourselves and just get stuck and get so comfortable with, you know, just a good paying job. Like, we actually want to be happy with what we're doing and not like you know going to work and waiting until the weekend to do something remotely exciting you know what i'm saying i've been looking into possibly going back to school for so you are upset anyways so now that they are done honking at people um i've been looking into going back to school to get a business a certificate in fashion business just so that when I do start my brand, I can feel a little more like confident in what I'm doing. Um, and just also to like network. It's so weird just being out of school though and trying to like be social and meet people who are like minded. It's very different. So I went ahead and set my under eye, all the places I highlighted with my Fenty Beauty um pro filter setting powder and it is in the color honey and i'm going to bronze and contour some more with the cover x f palette this is actually gifted to me as well from my homegirl diana what's up girl um so sweet i'm so glad she gave this to me so we're gonna go back into my mac mineralized skin finish which i just started hitting pan on not too long ago I'm really upset about that, but I love this powder. Um, I'm going to take this big old fluffy brush and go ham so that I can even out this, all this powder I just put on my face. But yeah, all in all, I'm just trying to like get comfortable in this new environment <laughs> and also just trying to, you know, get back into doing things for me and my others. Cause like, yes, I love my family, but I can't put their needs or their wants, desires for me above the wants and desires for myself. So I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Um, I think I'm gonna take edges.
I'm just taking the situation and sponsored and kind of put it in the center of my actually I'm gonna go back in with my blending brush I actually was using a brush that came with the palette um, because it looks darker in this corner than this corner and I just wanted to match um, I'm actually also gonna pop on oof, pop on some lashes I'm gonna use these I want to say these are Kiss Envy lashes. I'm almost positive. I get all my lashes from Beauty Supply though, so it's either the Kiss Envy or the black and gold packs that they be having at the Beauty Supply. Anyways, these are what they look like, and I'm about to pop them on off camera right quick. So the lashes are on and popping. You know what I'm saying the lashes always complete the look. I really wish I remember what brand these lashes were, but. Just get some big dramatic lashes. <laughs> That's Kayla lashes all day. So I'm gonna use this good old Anastasia Highlight Kit, Glow Kit. It's the Sun Dip Glow Kit. And I wanna use, I think I'm gonna use tur 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 Tourmaline, whatever. Anyways, I wanna use this one. <laughs> I wanna use this one today. I might mix a little bit of the bronze, so both of those. Basically, I feel really blessed to be here and I'm so excited about where my life is gonna go I know this is only like a one week update kind of since I've been in New York but it feels very promising I mean cuz this is the city where shit happens you know and so I'll be in the mix of that um let's see what lip do we want I think I'm gonna do the same look I always do which involves a brown liner and some lip gloss so that's how i'm feeling right now i got this basic brown liner i actually think it's by ruby kisses which is by kiss they low-key trying to take over i see y'all what's up kiss send me a sponsorship no Take my Morphe lip gloss. This is in the color Pixie. I really like this gloss. It feels good on and it has a little tint to it. Like a cute mauve nude, if that makes sense. It goes really well with my lip liner. So this is it for the final B. Oh, actually, I'm going to spray some more of the Ole Mist because it just feels so nice. So, this is the look. She cute. She's cute to do nothing. <laughs> Anyways, so thank y'all for listening to me yap about my life. And y'all, I'm really excited. So the videos should be popping now because I'm in New York. So once I get comfortable and, you know, a little more settled and get some friends and I'll be going out and then we'll, we'll um, vlog and the whole nine. So you know, if you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you miss me, give me a thumbs up. If you miss me, let me know in the comments if you are excited about my new journey and, you know, what's up next for my YouTube channel. Definitely let me know down below and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? She will try to be as consistent as she can with this with this YouTube thing. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see y'all in the next video and I hope y'all enjoyed this one. Bye.